guys, it's Jules, and this is Lupus Diaries. The month of May is Lupus Awareness Month, and I think it's timely to share about the different types of lupus. Although SLE is the most common type of lupus, there are other types that you should be aware about. One type of lupus is even temporary. But before that, please make sure to click the subscribe button below if you haven't yet. I post new videos every week, mostly about lupus and how I live my life with lupus. Now let's move on to the video. So according to Johns Hopkins Medicine, there are four major types of lupus. The first type is the type that we all know, which is systemic lupus erythematosus or SLE, which is the type that I have. The term systemic is used because once an SLE patient gets inflamed, it can affect different organ systems of the body. Pwedeng tamaan yung kidneys, joints, and skin. It can also affect the heart or the cardiovascular system or the brain or the nervous system. That's why we have lupus nephritis, which means the kidneys are the ones being damaged by SLE. Lupus pneumonitis for the lungs, lupus carditis for the heart, lupus cerebritis, and lupus neuritis for the brain. The next type of lupus is lupus of the skin or cutaneous lupus. Yes, it has its own major type because once you get lupus of the skin, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have SLE. But 5% of the people who have lupus of the skin tend to get SLE in the future. Lupus of the skin has three types. You usually need to get a skin biopsy to determine which type you have. The first type of cutaneous lupus is CCLE or chronic cutaneous lupus erythematosus. But it is also known as discoid lupus erythematosus or DLE. The sign of DLE are lesions that are thick and scaly and that have a characteristic pattern. They usually appear on the skin surfaces that are exposed to the sun. They scar but they do not itch. The second type is SCLE or subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus. Contrast to DLE, they do not scar and they do not appear thick and scaly. The third type of cutaneous lupus is ACLE or acute cutaneous lupus erythematosus. Those who have ACLE have active SLE with skin inflammations. Half of the people with SLE have ACLE lesions. I know some of you who are watching right now have them. Like the previous two types, ACLE occurs on the skin surfaces that are exposed to the sun. That is why all lupus patients are required to avoid the sun and always wear sunscreen. Before we move on to the third type of lupus, please click the like button below if you already learned something new from this video. Are you done clicking? Okay, the third type of lupus is drug-induced lupus erythematosus. This type of lupus is only temporary and is triggered by certain drugs. These drugs cause lupus-like symptoms but they subside months after the medication is stopped. And the last and fourth type of lupus is the neonatal lupus erythematosus. Based on its name, we can all concur that this is lupus that affects babies. Some women who do not have lupus give birth to a child with neonatal lupus. Usually it affects the baby's skin but it subsides even without treatment and then these children continue to live their healthy lives. <laughs> so those are the four major types of lupus. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any concerns or corrections or you simply just want to put down your video suggestions. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Lupus Awareness Month and I'll see you in the next video. Fighting!